Uh, traders, I'm, I'm going to finish this day up $1,500. As you can see here, I've got uh, three winners and uh, three losers. However, my three winners are slightly better than my three losers. So just a bit in green territory. And that only happened in the last few minutes when XLNX finally made the big move from 125 to 126 something where was my target. So I'm not proud at what I did today. You know, I had a big down day yesterday. I was down, I believe, $16,000, something like that. And um, struggling yesterday and struggling also today. I spent most of my time today in red territory, just moved to green territory a few minutes ago. I moved out of LLY almost at uh, zero because it's really just going sideways. And uh, XLNX, which just moved over 125 and uh, gave me my partial, but that also took maybe an hour. I'm not used to trading for two hours. I'm here for two hours now. And um, for me to stay and watch a stock move is like gambling. I feel like a gambler. When I take a trade, I expect it to move real quick. Like, yes, XLNX is moving up with a trend. But, you know, if the market would have came down for some reason, I guess it could have hit me and moved me to um, uh, back to my stop loss. And, you know, it's... I don't want to call it luck because it, we took it once it started trending higher and it is very strong for the day. And I was shorting LLY because it's weak and it's supposed to be continuing its downtrend, which it did not. There were other trades, but look at how many trades I had today. Six different trades. That's definitely over trading. I'm not supposed to take uh, six trades in one hour. Now, I did take all of them in one hour. I was waiting for results for almost two hours now. But, you know, I'm not supposed to be taking in one hour six trades. If it happens to you that you're over trading and six trades is definitely over trading, you shouldn't be there. So, you know, I make mistakes like everyone. I probably make less mistakes because I'm more experienced. I'm not usually trading that much. I was probably trying to gain back what I lost yesterday. I mean, back in my mind, I don't think I was really there, but I was taking too many trades, hoping for too many stocks to go my way. And just on the, on, on, I guess I was somewhere in between trading and gambling today. And that's something I shouldn't do. So maybe I'm a bit lucky to finish in green territory. Um, it was quite a bit of struggle. If you look at the S&P 500, there was nothing there. Here's the S&P 500. You see, it's just going sideways. There's really nothing there. The Nasdaq is a bit trending higher. I was expecting the S&P to come down and uh, continue yesterday's trend. Uh, so far, it did not. Maybe it's going to do it later. I thought yesterday it should come down. It did come down, but my timing was very bad because all of my trades were in the first 30 minutes. And... Um, it only later came down. So I am struggling today and yesterday. But what I do want you to take home uh, from this educational part of our trading session today is the fact that you shouldn't be over trading. Over trading is wrong. Over trading is, is just something that you're not supposed to be doing. And um, it could usually, um, it, it's usually not healthy to your account. Definitely not healthy to mine. Yes, I did finish in green, but it's a combination of going with the trend and having a bit of a luck. That's it. Small green day. And uh, happy to be in green and green is good. I'll see you all tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye traders. Thank you for watching our video. The material was taken from The Market Whisperer, my Amazon best-selling book. This essential guide to stock trading is ideal for those with no background or experience in stock trading. Click here to read the 200 page part one of this book absolutely free. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.